Hello everyone, sorry for the inconvenience. Actually, uh, the, the backup of my laptop, the charge, was not there. So, I have to end that video at uh, that moment. So, it is a part 1. Today, we are doing the part 2 of Globes and Maps chapter from Heritage Book, chapter 2, Geography, Globes and Maps. So, on that video, we have discussed till the concept of scale, what is scale and all. Till this much, we have discussed the concept. Today, we, and now we will discuss about the <coughs> what are scales? How many types of scales are there? A general discussion. So, particularly a scale of a map is expressed as a ratio of the distance on a map between two points and the actual distance between the same two places on the ground. For example, this is my finger. This is two fingers. Okay, one is this and another is this. So, just imagine that in ground, this, this uh, tree one is approximately 1 kilometer okay, away from this tree 2 ok so but in map you cannot represent 2 separate trees 1 kilometer long then you need 1 kilometer long paper how you can do that so many a times used to reduce the ok uh, kilometer or the distance in proportionate way that means for example 1 kilometer representing 1, one centimeter in map like this we used to do ok so many a times there are uh, different types of scale, for example, uh, linear scale, uh, uh, after that, uh, uh, we have the representative fraction scale, okay, verbal scale, these scales are there, you don't need in this class, in uh, in higher classes, you will need the concept of scale, okay. So, uh, there are, broadly, if you see, there are two types of scale we will discuss here, one is the concept of small scale and another is the concept of large scale. So, what is a small scale? See, particularly small scale, the concept of small scale is used in atlas. How it is used? For example, Australia. The, the length of Australia in reality is approximately 7.692 million square kilometer. 7.692 million square kilometer. Now, you imagine if you want to plot a map of Australia, you need this kind of paper, 7.692 million square kilometer. It is next to impossible. Okay. So, what you can do, you reduced the size of Australia in map like this way. Okay. So, for example, in this image, approximately the, okay, the overall length of Australia, it may be, um, suppose, 3 centimeter, 3.5 centimeter. We can show this thing. This is known as small map. Okay. And large map also we have, large map particularly, uh, such kind of map which show a smaller area on the earth in a more detailed way. For example, nearby your home, okay, your area. I am making a map of your area, so it will show more greater details. For example, cadastral map, city map, district map, so these are the examples, okay. So, we have understood till now the concept of map, the concept of globes, types of maps, physical map, political map, thematic map, after that atlas, um, after that, the essential elements of map, that is direction, uh, key or scale, legendary scale, conventional symbols, etc. Next, we are moving to the concept of grid. Okay, What is grid? In this map, you can see curvature, the curving lines you can see. 0 degree, okay, meridian, 0 degree, equator, you, are, you can see. But in reality, these lines exist? No, it doesn't exist. These lines are made by the humans, okay, by us. To understand the globe more easy, okay, more logically, we have introduced this uh, system. This is known as grid, a network of imaginary lines on the map that intersect each other at right angles are called grid, okay. The lines run horizontally are called latitude and the lines run uh, uh, are called parallels of latitude whereas the vertical line, line are called the meridians or the longitude. Okay, so what is the help of this latitude longitude lines? It helps to measure the exact location of a place. Okay, it may helps to measure distance. Okay, distance or locate a feature on a map or on a globe. We use latitude and longitude. Okay, and lastly, we are moving the concept of sketch. See, while you are making map, particularly uh, you can say that large scale map. The knowledge of sketching is very much uh, important, okay? Because you first thing that you have to incorporate detail 
but you don't have to mess up the map. It should look nice. See, in this map, everything is described very beautifully. Even the names you can you can understand. The colors are there. They have used variously. Okay. So many a times the sketches are very much important. And lastly, the concept of plan. So a plan is very much necessary. Whenever you are making a map, you have to do a definite plan. That how to do it. Previous okay before uh, doing the map survey is important of that area measurements are important knowing the directions are impo important okay you have to do the survey in the ground and these things are very much important so what have you understood first a globe is a three dimensional model a globe is a three dimensional model second a map is a two dimensional model represents uh, the earth okay in a flat surface after that maps are of different uh, types uh, physical map political map we have understood elements of map we have understood a map should have a title suppose in this map you can see world map written there okay just in the in the uh, other end you can see the scale 0 to 1000 2000 miles it was written there which company has made this uh, map it is written there okay so like this way uh, we have understood who used to make maps expert people who used to make maps are known as cartographers okay the method of representing uh, the surface of the earth on a plane surface is called map projection. We have understood about marketer, okay, Gerardius marketer, who introduced a very good method of projecting uh, map or okay, different purpose in map projection. So these are the uh, things, these are the peculiarities of this chapter. I hope you understood. The notes you will get in the Google Classroom and in the class or whenever it will start. Okay. Thank you everyone. We will meet very soon. Okay. Thank you so much.